to ignore these baby hairs because I've tried. So obviously from the title, you know we're gonna be doing this month's BoxyCharm. I'm gonna first, I'm gonna take Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer, which is a primer and a moisturizer in one. This doesn't come in the box, but if you haven't tried BoxyCharm, this is definitely the month to get it or try it out because because this month the stuff that came in the box is worth way more than the entire box. I can promise you that. You got Huda Beauty, MAC, Tarte, three of those things in the box. All three of those things by themselves are worth more than the entire box. Foundation, I'm going to take the Makeup Forever Ultra HD, Ultra HD foundation. Um, You know what? I'm just going to mix a little bit of... Huda Beauty's stick foundation because I just want a little bit more coverage. And of course, like always, I will have the link to get this box in the description box. And then it comes with this ball. I guess it says it's the first ever. I don't have the oh, I don't have the package anymore because I threw it away and it doesn't have a brand on here. I I will find the brand, but I guess it's the first ever machine washable sponge beauty sponge so it comes with the sponge and this little thing i guess you throw it in here and then throw it in the washer which is pretty cool how good is this sponge i don't know it feels really good it feels almost like the one that i use from tarte it's really soft whoa and it has a really nice texture but i'm not sure we'll see it's getting pretty big as i wet it i didn't even wet i just wet the top half and it's getting pretty big which I mean, normally you would like because you, if you use it for foundation, but I don't, I just use it for concealer. Okay, let's take a step back and let me show you everything that comes in the box first so I don't forget anything. So this machine washable sponge comes in there. The Tarte Man Eater Mascara comes in there. This is like, I think over $20 by itself. And I got a MAC lipstick in the color Hug Me, which is really pretty color. This again is like 20 bucks. And then for the palette, I got Huda Beauty's Amethyst palette again super pretty that's what i'm going to be using in this video this ofra what is this brightening banana powder brightening and setting powder i'm not sure if i'm going to use this because i haven't even opened it to see what it looks like but ow but those are all the things that it comes with concealer again i'm going to use tarte shape tape If you guys watch my videos, you know I normally don't blend it out with the sponge. I use a brush, but I'm going to try this sponge. It feels really good. It's really soft. It's not stiff at all. I think the makeup eraser makes this. I think that's the brand. I think I'm still going to end up switching to my brush. I'm not used to using a sponge anymore on myself under my eyes. I really only use the sponge to put powder. I just like brushes better. Okay, I'm gonna take Laura Mercier's Secret. I keep saying Secret Brightening Powder. I'm gonna take the Translucent Powder. I also use the Secret Brightening Powder sometimes, but it's not what I'm using right now. This is much bigger than I normally use. I think I'm going to skip and go to the eyes, figure out what I'm going to do with the eyes. And I will be right back. I forgot to tell you guys the reason I didn't use this banana powder that came in the thing is because I didn't even want to attempt it because it looks a little too yellow for me. Whenever I use a really yellow banana powder, even if it's translucent, I don't even know what this is, but it looks very yellow in pictures on my skin. So... I didn't want to use that and then mess up everything, so I just didn't use it. Maybe I'll try it off camera when I'm not doing a look, but... Okay, so first I'm going to take Urban Decay's Primer Potion. Just put a little bit on my eye to prevent any creasing. I haven't did a cut crease in a long time and I feel like I took forever. That took me forever and I'm a little rusty. In Huda Beauty's Amethyst Obsessions Palette. does not have any names so I'm going to use this color first right here taking that into my crease so what I like to do with my cut crease is 
I'll take the majority on my brush and I'll put it into my crease. I'll work it into my crease. And then whatever's left, I will blend out. I cannot use a small, tiny little mirror like this. I just can't. I'm trying, but I can't. Take that darkest matte purple right here. And I'm going to use that for my crease. And to me, it doesn't really have to be clean on the bottom. Just as long as it's blended out on top. And I'm kind of going a little higher than my crease. Because my eyes want to start getting all hooded, so I'm going a little higher than my crease. Most satisfying part, in my opinion, is a cleanup. I'm going to take a concealer and a small brush and cut that crease. And just like I did with my shadows, I'm going to go a little higher with my concealer. My crease. I mix these two colors right here together, the two shimmery colors. They're super pigmented, but I kind of mixed this one a little bit more, so I kind of tapped it in this and then just once in there. And I put that all over the first half of my eye. I swear the eye that I do off camera always comes out so much better than the one that I film. I hate it. I feel like I'm in an awkward position and I'm trying to hurry because I'm filming. Oh, please don't judge me by this eye. And then I'm going to go back in to this dark, dark matte purple and add it to the outer corner of my eye. There is some fallout in this palette, so tap your brush. I can do my lower lash line now. My lower lash line, I'm just going to run a little bit of this dark color under it. Super simple. My waterline, I'm going to use Makeup Forever's, the same one I used last time. It's, I've been using this a lot. Artist, what the hell? Aqua Resist Color Pencil. Love, love, love these. This is the color Ebony, which is just a dark brown. For liner, I'm taking the Bombs Schwing Eyeliner. have been really loving this one. Lately, I love how dark and matte it is. It's not very waterproof. It doesn't come off super easy, but it's not like waterproof. I really like the brush too. It reminds me of NYC's, their black liquid liner that they discontinued. Why? I don't know. one that comes in the box which is Tarte's Man Eater Mascara. For bronzer I'm going to take this Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion. What is this? Bronzer. So me and my daughter were leaving today. Going to the store and I walk outside and my back door is open on my car. Like completely swung open. And of course, the first thing I thought was, oh my God, somebody broke into my car. Because it's happened before, somebody broke into my car. But anyways, I was like, oh my God, somebody broke into my car. Go into my car, nothing's missing, doesn't look like anything. So I check my cameras, turns out my lovely little daughter did not shut the door the night before we came back from the store. And she never shut the door. So my door was wide open on my car all night. This Laura Mercier translucent powder, but it is in the color Honey Translucent. 
and I'm gonna clean up a little bit. That's it for a second. And then um, blush, I just have this one right here. It's Color Pops Secret Crush Pressed Secret Crush Pressed Powder Blush. Highlight, I'm gonna take a little bit of Huda Beauty's, that's upside down. Hopefully it doesn't fall out. Flora, oh, I'm scared. Just gonna like hold it in there. Take a little bit, like a very, very little. <gasps> fell out all over everything for lip liner I'm going to take my Makeup Forever Artist color pencil in Anywhere Caffeine and I'm going to line my lips taking Max Hug Me lipstick really really pretty color I haven't used MAC's lipsticks in so long, I forgot that smell. 